New Mexico State health officials on Thursday announced 198 additional positive tests for COVID-19, including four new cases in Curry County and one in Roosevelt County. Roosevelt County has tested 287 individuals with a positive case count at nine, whereas Clovis has seen 608 tests and a total of 17 positive cases. As of today, there are 172 individuals hospitalized in New Mexico for COVID-19 and 760 COVID-19 cases designated as having recovered by the New Mexico Department of Health. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham, along with state officials, hosted a press conference yesterday where Lujan Grisham extended New Mexico's stay-at-home instruction through May 15th, but relaxed some of the public health mandate restrictions on businesses. Starting today, non-essential retailers will be allowed to operate via curbside pickup and delivery if it's permitted by their license. State parks will be able to reopen on a modified day-use-only basis with camping and visitor centers remaining closed. Veterinarians will be permitted to operate along with pet services such as adoption, grooming, daycare, and boarding. Golf courses will be allowed to open for golf only and gun stores may operate by appointment. The hope is to reach phase one of the economic recovery by mid-May. The governor said that doing so depends on the data that will be received from this preparation phase. Phase one would include lessening even more restrictions on businesses like retailers, restaurants, gyms, salons, and houses of worship. In-person meter reading, which had been temporarily on hold for residential customers since April 14th to address coronavirus concerns, will resume May 4th for Excel's Energy's Texas customers and May 18th for New Mexico customers. To allow meter readers and field crews to do their work, Excel Energy is requesting that members of the public do not approach them in the field. The Roosevelt County Chamber and the Roosevelt County Complete Count Committee for the 2020 Census will host a community night on Facebook Live tomorrow from 3 to 8 p.m. According to a press release from the Chamber, the event will feature close to a dozen local musicians in their living rooms, playing everything from country and western to jazz as well as Spanish music. In a news release from Clovis Municipal Schools, all available wireless internet devices available through a district partnership with Plateau Telecommunications have been distributed. The district has amplified Wi-Fi signals at school sites and the city and county have also made locations available for download and go access by students. Despite these efforts, there are still approximately 200 families lacking home internet. In the final phase of addressing those needs, the district has purchased 60 wireless routers which will be deployed throughout the community via buses and school vehicles to targeted areas of need. The district has withdrawn its application to the State Public Education Department to participate in the K-5 through Plus program this year due to concerns for public health orders impacting attendance and staffing rates. However, the district is considering other potential options for summer programming and with the availability of funding as well as the lifting of health order restrictions. 